Hieroglyphic Journal of a Voyage to the Caribbean, 1815, The Traveler's Guide to Madeira and the West Indies. Will Tly fly with laughing Aufum to the Atlantic Isles and range with him the Hesperian Feld and Sea. Tiwibrira and Richius Finch go yorts with Oitak Hothlida, through a Hatafural Garo Vice Step. Marks Thiglid soil, the tender clusters grow with purple ripeness, and invest each hill. As with blushy soap in evening sky. Uxenside. AC underscore 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 KTQFTK arg water part off the Atlantic OC and S8 including the WEST underscore underscore N underscore 3 underscore ALS underscore underscore ANS and the whole of the Outandhra underscore underscore you had grimed passage. Fertis 010 MS1 V Woodress TNTFLRWN Hfmit and TTT published by G. Filler. J. Unbu. The Traveler's Guide to Madeira and the West Indies. Being a F. Teroglup, TC representation. Op. Appearances and incidents. During a voyage out in home wards. In a series of encavings. From original drawings taken on the spot, and see. Wherein is exhibited. An exact delineation of the principal objects and passage. With a. Treatise. Explanatory of the various figures, in which is faithfully portrayed, a number of remarkable facts and. Occurrences, illustrative off manners and customs on board of a Westic Diasan, occasionally interspersed with amusing anecdotes, highly descriptive of a life at sea, and comprehending a short account of the most interesting of the West India Islands. Together with remarks on their climates, a description of processes of sugar making and rum distillation, the different employments of a clerk, an overseer, and bookkeeper on the plantations with a number of other particulars necessary to be known by the intended voyager to the tropical region, and by ale, who, without traveling from the fireside, wish to be acquainted with the phenomenon beauties of the Atlantic Ocean. To which are added, occasional notes, sp. By a young traveler. Cuckirk D. Tun Stationers C. All. Haddington. Printed by G. Miller and Son. I. Or G. Miller, Dunkar, and sold by the booksellers. Plate 2 F. Explanatory key to the Ilteroslopjik female introduction as anything of a hieroglyphic nature, especially when delineated in such an abstruse form as my journal requires an explanatory key to render it intelligible. This treatise is drawn up to elucidate more clearly the meaning of the different figures and numbers contained in that work, in which the quotidian occurrences, worthy of remark, during a voyage to Madeira and Jamaica, are emblematically displayed. My original motive for drawing out the journal in hieroglyphics, being deficiency of time to note down me observations as they occurred it became necessary that issued fall upon some method to explain and illustrate them, and B.S. 8. Introduction. In adopting the present, I must call the attention of the reader to the following particulars respecting the numbers. First. In the hieroglyphics, the numbers marked, explain the days of Hemanth, except when otherwise mentioned, and where a period immediately follows a number, without any emblematic a figure, it denotes that nothing worthy of observation occurred on that day. Second numbers distinguished with a cross above and below them mark such days of the month to have happened on a Sunday, by calculating from Onio, F which, any day oft week may be easily ascertained. Theodility of having each figure numbered, so that it jane a be referred to ig obvious. The author. January 1815. Explanatory key. And see. Fig. On Sunday, the 6th of February, we sailed out of Leith. Harbor, and Kamato Ainan Cha in the roads. Fig 2. On the 8th, we sailed from the roads, asterisk ND proceeded to Portsmouth to join convoy. Fig.3. At midnight, on the 11th, a lugger bore down upon us off Hasborg Lights. Being hailed by the captain, she returned Owen's are rather suspicious, upon which, being 10. The Traveler's Guide. February. Join convoy off Portsmouth. C1814. Ordered to keep off and no obeying, we fired an 18-pounder carronade into her, loaded with round and can. Nister shot, she, however, continued to close in us, till we fired another bubble shot at 18-pounder, when she sheared off. Fig 4. Came to an anchor in Yarmouth Roads on the 12th. Where it woe of the crew were impressed. Fig.5. Weighed anchor, 
and sailed from Thiny on the 14th. Fig 6. On the 16th, about 7 a.m. got sight of the convoy. Derway, made all sail, and came up with them at 9 a.m. Off Portsmouth, synth cutter aboard the Pomodori and received instructions. Fig 7. We parted from the convoy on the 2nd of March in company with five brigs, and steered for Madeira. To Madeira and the West Indies. 11. March reach Porto. Santo, Young Wasp Privateer. 1814. Fig 9. Got sight of the island of Porto Santo about 74 p.m. This is a small mountainous island, the most northern of the Madeiras, and lies in latitude 32 degrees 58 minutes north longitude 16 degrees 25 minutes west. It underscore underscore RA underscore 3 used by us in crossing the northern solstice of the sun. Some of the senior voyagers having secured below those. 28. The Traveler's Guide. March. Sleeving Ceremony Described. PS 14. Who had never crossed the line, and refused to pay the fine asterisk, others in the interim disguised themselves in the characters of Neptune Amphitrite, his wife, Tritons, and a barber. When everything was prepared, his aquatic majesty was heard to hail the ship from the bow, through a speaking trumpet. He was then answered be one of the crew, and after receiving satisfactory intelligence respecting our destination last departure, name and number of hands his highness made his appearance in great pomp seated on a hamper placed on a grating, with the charming Amphitrite, who seemed to love tobacco, by his side, drawn by six or eight. Beautiful tritons, accompanied by the shaving gentleman, who had the honor to sit on the hinder part of the car. After the cavalcade had traversed the deck several times, the sovereign of the ocean and his august spouse, deigned to alight from their superb car, not at the gate of a superb palace not at the portal of a magnificent temple, but at the side of a huge tub. Whilst his barber, no less condescending, began to display his apparatus for chin scraping. Asterisk these hope a dollar or give a gallon of rum to the crew, r. Exerup.sl from this facetious ceremony. To Madeira and the West Indies. 23. March. Shaving ceremony continued. P. Things being brought to this crisis, one of the culprits, whose crime it was, never before to have strayed so far from home, was brought forth with his eyes blindfolded, and his hands bound behind his back. He then had the aonur of being conducted by the Itons to the tub, previous to his arrival at which, he was repeated lysolated by a bucket full of water, emptied in his face, AUD when he had reached this pygmy basin, had the extreme felicity of being seated in it up to the neck in water, with a wet swab put over his shoulders to keep him clean. Mr. Barber now began his operations by covering the face of his new customer with a kind of lather peculiar to himself, and from the opportunity he had of examining the composition, a proportion of oil paint and tar seemed to constitute part of the ingredient. His barbed underscore hip then seized the culprit's nose in the true style of his profession, and began to apply his razor with great expert nebes, which being about three feet long, and of well-tempered iron, made very rapid progress, not, however, without leaving, in consequence of having divers nicks in the edge, some marks, like traces oft claws of a certain animal of the feline species, on the face of him whose happiness it. E. 30. The Traveler's Guide. March. Good effects of such amusements. P814. Was to submit to the operation of its blade. The novice, after being thoroughly scrapped, WA6 taken out of the tub, and having his hands and eyes unbound, was congratulated by those who surrounded him as being at full liberty to cross the tropic whenever he pleases, which privilege is more fully consolidated by applauding buckets of water, under the deluging torrents of which he retired to give place to another star. After this ceremony was gone through with all the delinquents, old Neptune withdrew with his train, and the ludicrous ceremony was concluded. By drolleries such as these, and a number of innocent amusements, are the lingering moments of a tedious voyage often beguiled, and the pensive, and not unfrequently unfortunate traveler, made for a while to forget his woes. Many a little amusing incident, and diverting anecdote could irelet, were I blessed with a denacious memory, but, as neither may gift of recollection or limits fav our may, I must be content with what he have just noticed. Asterisk noteville. Hate for asterisk. To Madeira and the West. Indies. 31. March. Tropical regions, a strange sail. P814. Fig 27. We now, for the first time, discovered. The fleeting dolphins hosse their prey, and flying fish oft wing their way, 
wherever dick sunbeams jacund play on blue atlantic waves asterisk fig 28 we also saw a number of tropical birds these birds are distinguished from others by a wedge-like tail extending a great length beyond the body they are upwards of two feet long from the beak to the tip of the tail there are three different colored species of them though six e we saw were white and they always flew very high fig 29 on the 4th of april we saw a strange sail which after a few suspicious mansivra bore away out of sight. Fig 30. In firing off the small arms, when the alarm was over. Asterisk a blunderbuss bursted, and slightly wounded one of the note 8. E2. 32. The Traveler's Guide. April. Custom on perceiving a strange sail. P814. Voice. It may be necessary here to remark, that it is customary for merchant vessels, when running without con. Voy as well as for warships, to prepare for action on the appearance of a strange sail. To allow as much time as possible for this preparation, a boy is stationed aloft during the day, whose business it is to look round the horizon, and the moment he discovers a ship, to give notice. Below. As soon as the boy from the masthead has given. The alarm, a sail in sight, the deck is cleared of all lumber, every one proceeds to his quarters, the lashings and tackle of the cannon are cast loose, the tompions withdrawn the aprons taken off, and the guns primmed. Buckets of shot, and cartridge boxes full of powder, with wads, sponges, rammers, and sea are brought upon deck. The matches are got ready, and so many men are placed. To each gun. Those who are not thus stationed are sub. Plied with muskets and bayonets, cutlasses, pistols, or boarding pikes, in short, every individual in the ship is armed with some weapon or other for his defense and he protection, and the opposition off the foe should the vessel turn out to belong to THNE or ETNE IMXY. On the other hand, to Madeira and the West Indies. 33. Apri. Dolphins, Portuguese men of war. P8U. When things happen to end amicably, which is frequently the case, and the alarm is over, the guns are made fast, the Tompians replaced the ammunition against Oed in the magazine, and the small arms fired off, and given up to the gunner and it was on the latter duty, that the accident before mentioned occurred. Fig 31 There were numbers of dolphins sporting round the ship this day, but we had not the good luck to catch any. We also saw a small animal, of a curious shape. Called Portuguese man of war, that part of it which was. Above the water was of a pink color, and of a semi-tear. Keeler form, resembling a cock's comb, they have several long limbs, of a purple color, attached to this body, but, as I never saw them out of the water, I cannot give a correct description of them. They do not, however, seem destitute of courage, for I have seen one of them beat off several dolphins. 34. The Traveler's Guide. March seem weed, a storm, mother carries chickens. P81 Star. Fig 32. On the 9th, exercised the muskets by firing at a barrel slung from the main yard arm. Fig 33. Great quantities off beautiful sea. Weed floated past us on. The 10 th asterisk. Fig 34. The trade wind suddenly veered round on the 12th till about ASW attended by a storm of thunder, lightning, and rain, which continued for two hours. Fig 35. At the same time we observed a number of small birds, known amongst the sailors by the name of Mother Carey's Chicken, and vulgarly believed, by their appearance, to prognosticate bad weather. The proper appellation of this little bird, is the stormy petrel, it is the size of a swallow, and nearly of the same color. Asterisk note X. To Madeira and the West Indies. 33. Dot March. Antigua, its appearance at sea. Pound 181 star. Fig 36. On the 13th about sunset, we made Antigua, one of. The leeward West India Islands, and hove to, all night, between it and the island of Decida. On approaching Antigua, it appears like a chain of mountains gradually declining in size till at last the extremity of the land appears almost flat. This island is about 50 miles in circumscience. Its chief production is sugar, the quantity of which varies, as the island is subject to hurricanes. The atmosphere is unhealthy and is proved fatal to numbers of the English who have settled there, and to our seamen, who happen to go into the harbors, which are remarkably good in respect to the safety of the shipping. Though Antigua is unwholesome in general, yet it has its healthy retreats, where one may rest secure from the contagious diseases of the sickly season. The most salubrious of these, is Monk's Hill, 
and there have been instances of that garrison enjoying health, whilst the other places on Thies land were suffering under Themist fatal distempers. St. John's town the capital of Antigua, lies in Long. 62 degrees 9 minutes W lat.17 degree 4 n accounts. 36. The Traveler's Guide. APRH- Decida, Guadeloupe, Montserrat. P814. Arcton pounds of 20 SI or 240 pence, leeward or wind. Ward currency. Fig 37. DC is a small island belonging to the French, and lies in the vicinity of Guadeloupe. It appears like one huge mountain rising out of the sea. This, or Antigua, is the first land generally made in sailing to the west. Indies. On the 14th we passed Guadeloupe I Montserrat, Redondi Nevis St. Christopher's, and St. Anastasia. Fig 38. The island of Guadalupe is of considerable emperor. Tans to the French both from its extent and the fertility of its soil. Its produce is spices, sugar, and CJT is about 80 leagues in circumference, and is divided into parts by a branch of the sea called Salt River. The island appears to be mountainous, and there is one mountain in particular, highly elevated above the rest. The atmosphere varies considerably, some parts being healthy and others directs. To Madeira and the West Indies. 37. April. Montserrat Redondi. P814. Lee the reverse. Basterra the capital, lies in Long. 6L degree 54. W and Lat. 15 degrees 59 minutes north. Fig 39. Montserrat like Guadeloupe, was so denominated be Columbus, from its likeness to a mountain of the same name in Spain, and, indeed, from a certain point of view, it bears no small resemblance to the latter Carrot Island. It is about three leagues in length, and as many in breadth. Its produce is rum, sugar, and sea. The air is salutary, and the inhabitants are said to be of a fresh complexion. This island belongs to the English, and lies SW from Antigua, distance 30 miles, in Long. 6 I degree 17 W in Lat. It's 47 N. Fig 40. Redondi, properly speaking is only a larger arc, and is situated between Mojitsura and Nevis, LT abounds with grilled fowl of which we saw a great number, and the top seems to be covered with grass. It is known amongst the sailors, by the name of the R. 38. The Traveler's Guide. A Trill. A Strange Sail Nevis Described. P814. Dundra Rock, which appellation is said to be derived from the following anecdote. A Dutch man dot of war coming up with this island in the night, took it for a ship, and commenced a most tremendous cannonade upon it, which Menaire continued for upwards off to Hoor's war. He discovered his mistake, when he bore away, doubtless. Not a little chagrined at having spent his ammunition to so little purpose. Fig 41. As we were passing this island, at noon, a strange sail hove in sight, which, however, kept always at a distance till we lost sight of her. Fig 42. Nevis is a most delightful little island, and has a more pleasant appearance from the sea than any other of the West India islands that we passed. Its form is that of a single hemispheric mountain in the west, rising obliquely out of the sea, and, in the eastern descent, intercepted halfway down by two small conical hills, covered with the most beautiful verdure, from whence it gradually loses. To Madeira and the West Indies. 39. Aprii. St. Christopher's. P8H. Itself in the deep. This island, which, from its beauty and celebrity of its atmosphere may best tiled Thmont. Pettier off West Indies, is about 24 miles in circumference. Itis situated at the se end of St. Christopher's, from which it is only separated by a small channel. Its produces sugar. Accounts kept the same as in Antigua. Charleston is the capital. Fig 43. St. Christopher's, or St. Kitts, from the S has a very rugged aspect, and from the number of intersecting bays, has more the appearance of a CLU stir of small isles, than of one continued island. Its interior is mountainous, the highest of which is Mount Misery. The air is healthy in general, Basterra, the capital, being almost the only sickly place in it. The soil is considered superior to any in the West Indies for the production of sugar. The exports of the island are sugar, cotton, ginger, and sea. It is 14 leagues in circumference, and lies in long. 62 degrees 43 minutes west in lat. 17 degrees 15 minutes north. F2. 
40. The Traveler's Guide. April. Saint Eustatia Saba. C1814. Fig 44. A booby, of which there are great numbers on the island of Redondi, which has much the appearance of the base in Scotland. Fig 45. Saint Eustatia is a pyramidal mountain, about, 9 miles in circumference, which produces tobacco and sugar. It is very unhealthy and lies NW of St. Christopher's, distance 3 leagues, in long. 63 degrees 10 minutes west in lat. 17 degrees. 29 n. On the 15th we passed the islands of Saba, Santa Cruz, and Bike, and made a Puerto Rico. Fig 46. Saba is merely a steep rock, on the summit of which a few hundred inhabitants, consisting of Europeans and blacks, contrive to live, where they raise cottons, which they manufacture into stockings, and sell to the neighboring islands. It also produces excellent vegetables, and has a more salutary climate than St. Eustatia, which had 5 asterisk. 2 plus 4 z pound. Begin to deliver teak skips. Cargo, a dot nd to fake m homeward ditto, in j lizerant bay t slash jlj cafe. To Madeira and the West Indies. I.L. April. Santa Cruz, Bike or Borrigan. P814. Is not far distant. It lies in long, 63 degrees 17 minutes west and lat.17 degree 39 n. Fig 47, Santa CR.RZ is a long narrow island, about 25 miles in length, with a chain of mountains running along the center from E. To W. Its chief produce is sugar and cotton. It lies in long. 5 4 degree 53 W and lat. 17 degrees 4 dollar and accounts are kept in Reich's dollars, or Pia's trace, of 8 shillings, or bits, or 48 stivers, likewise Ian dollars, of 10 dimes, or 100 rents, as in America. Fig 48. The island of Bike, or Boeken, from a distant view seems Tories on the W with a promontory out off sea, from whence, a short way E from the extremity, a mountain ascends, which after extending along one half of the island, it again descends, and the surface of the other part appears almost flat. This island is situated not far from the SE point of Rorchurico, in the same. Jadatud. 42. The Traveler's Guide. April Puerto Rico, Two Strange Sails. Mona. P8L4. Fig 49. Puerto Rico is the fourth island, in point of size in the West Indies. It is 100 miles long, and 40 broad. The country is diversified with mountains and valleys, and is extremely fertile. It produces sugar, rum, ginger, corn, fruits, and a little gold. The salubrity of the atmosphere worries with the seasons, being always unhealthy in rainy weather. Accounts arced in dollars of eight reals, being nearly equal to fours. Three JD Spanish weights and measures are used here. The capital, which bears the name of the island, stands on a peninsula on the north side, forming a good harbor, and is strongly fortified. Itlies in long. 67 degrees 0 minutes west and lat. 18 degrees 29 minutes north. Fig 50. On the 16th, whilst running along Puerto Rico, Webzer. VED2 strange sails come out from the rocky islets, with which it abounds. None of them, however, came near us. Fig 51. Same night, past Mona, a small conical island, sit. You aided between Puerto Rico and St. Domingo. To Madeira and the West Indies. 43. April a strange sail St. Domingo or Hispaniola. P8L4. Fig 52. We got sight of St. Domingo on the 17th which island we continued to coast along all that, and the following day. Fig 53. Saw a strange sail, but she kept off like the others. St. Domingo or Hispaniola is the richest island in the West Indies, and is only surpassed in size by Cuba, being almost 400 miles long, and 150 broad. The surface of the island is covered with mountains and valleys, plains, woods, and rivers. The soil is remarkably fertile, producing sugar, cotton, indigo, tobacco, maize, hides, rum, molasses, coffee, and dye stuffs, and sea. It has also some mines of gold, talc, and crystal. Accounts are kept. In dollars of 10 dimes, or 100 cents, as in the United States of America. The dollar is valued at fours. 6D Sterling. St. Dorkingo, the capital, is situated on a large navigable river. It has an excellent harbor and a superb. 44. 
The Traveler's Guide. Apri History of St. Domingo, Cruelty of Spaniards. P814. Cathedral, which, with the town, was built by the Spaniards, who discovered the island. The climate is unhealthy, and proves fatal to numbers of Europeans on their first arrival. As this island is daily becoming more interesting, I shall briefly relate some of the most striking epochs in ILS history. Saint Domingo was discovered by Columbus in 1492. Will changed its original name of Haiti to that of Hispaniola, which it now bears. The inhabitants were of an inoffensive disposition, and received the Spaniards with great hospitality. But who can read without horror, the demonious ingratitude, and cruelty, with which these detestable people repaid the mighty of these innocent and benevolent blacks. In a short time they wrest their property from their hands, and massacred their persons by every mode of torture that tyranny could suggest. Indeed to such an extent did they carry their sanguinary proceedings, that before the expiry of sixty years from their first landing, out of two million of natives, there were not two hundred left in existence, and these probably shared a similar fate, for these monsters, who disgraced the form of man, were. To Madeira and the West Indies. 45. April. Changes in the government. P814. In the practice of murdering the old blacks, and supplanting them with young and vigorous slaves from Guinea Star. In 1C97, the Spaniards ceded over the NW part of it to the French. After their revolution in France, a war broke out between the patriots and royalists of this island, and in 1791, to add to the tumult that already filled the country, an insurrection took place amongst the Negroes, when such a scene of bloodshed commenced that even the devastation of the Spaniards did not exceed it. In 1796, while this internal broil still continued, Spain ceded over the whole island to France. The British were then called in to assist the French royalists in putting down the patriotic party. They took possession of several places, but were obliged to abandon this project in 1798, both on account of the strength of the insurgents and the ravages of the yellow fiver, which, at this time, raged with great fury. The blacks having now gained the ascendancy, formed a republic, and set Toussaint at its head. The French again, in 1800, sent out a large fleet, with 25,000 soldiers, under the command of General. Asterisk Note 11. C. 46. The Traveler's Guide. April L. E. Clear's Expedition P. Resent Emperor. P814. Leclerc, of infamous memory, to place the island once. More under their subjection. Their arms at first proved. Victorious, and to Saint, with the black chiefs, Christ. Offi and de Saline were compelled to submit. To Saint. Was promised their clemency in favor, but, on de. Livering himself up, to complete their perfidy, he was sent in irons to France, where he perished in prison. Asterisk the. Other chiefs fled for safety, but the Negroes, indignant. At the base conduct of the French, rose in a mass, and. Attacked the enemy with such impetuosity, as to drive them out of the island. De Saline succeeded to Saint. And caused himself to be proclaimed Jacques I, Emperor of Haiti. This chief, however, did not enjoy his supremacy long, for being got a tyrannical disposition. He fell a sacrifice to a conspiracy formed by his principal officers in 1806, and Christophe, the present emperor, who in his late short address to the Pipa of Haiti, on the subject of the French embassy, has proved himself so worthy of TB sacred trust, off being made the guardian of their lives and liberties, was raised to the government plus. Asterisk. Note 12. T Note 13. To Madeira and the West Indies. 47. April Saint Dom Independent Kingdom, Olivella, Bayada. P314. For some years past, Saint Domingo has been an independent kingdom, and every philanthropic heart must behold with pleasure the rapid advances, these sable children of nature, are making in arts, sciences, and civilization. The island of Saint Domingo lies between long. 68.30 asterisk and 75 degrees 0 minutes west and lat. 17 degrees 30 minutes and 20 degrees 30 minutes north. There are a number of small islands appertaining to it, of which we saw Alte Vala and Beata. Fig 54. Alte Vala is aconical rock, partly covered with grass, and abounding with wild fowl. Fig 55. Bayada is a small flat islet, or rock, situated off Cape Bayada and St. Domingo. On the 19th we passed Cape Tiburon, which is the westernmost point in St. Domingo, 
and 68 miles E of Jamaica. G2. 48. The Traveler's Guide. April. Approach to Jamaica. Thuggers. P8L4. Fig 56. On the 20th at noon we made Jamaica, but the weather being unfavorable we did not reach it till. About sunset. Fig 57. On approaching the island we saw several drogers, at which we fired a gun, and brought two of them to. One of them was manned with negroes, who I suppose took us for a privateer, for upon our firing, he showed Spanish colors, and the person we supposed to bait a master threw his straw hat on the deck why the veridstillation off despair, and, indeed, we were not unlike what poor Mungo Khan. Jectured, for there were upwards of fifty of us on the forecastle round the captain, when he hailed him, but upon informing us he washbound to Cuba, and answering a few trivial questions, we allowed him to proceed. After doubling Morant Point, we took a black pilot aboard to conduct us into Morant Bay. Fig 53. Off which place we arrived at 8 p.m. when several boats. To Madeira and the West Indies. 49. April. Passage described, trade winds. P81 star. Came aboard, but the land breeze having set in, the captain thought it more advisable to stand off and on the shore till next morning, when. Fig 59. We got into the bay, and came to an anchor about 10 a.m. 10 weeks and two days of tur leaving Leith Roads. The weather during the passage was moderate, as we only experienced a few squalls going across the Bay of Biscay. Nothing can be more delightful than running down before the trade winds. As far as the encircling horizon extends, a plain of the most vivid blue meets the eye, whilst the celestial canopy is decorated with silvery clouds of a variety of forms, unknown in the less genial climates of the universe, and the orient beauties of the sun is beyond the art of delineation to paint, or the powers of uninspiration to describe. At his rising, what boundless Titus of splendor e are the skies o o'erflowing brightness, stream their golden rays. Heaven's azure kindles with the varying dyes, reflects the glory, and returns the blaze. W. Tom Sock. 50. The Traveler's Guide. April. A night scene in the tropical regions. P814. Nor is the grandeur of his setting less sublime, for while he is withdrawing from our hemisphere to illuminate the hour. Antipodes. A streak off gold the sea and sky divides, the purple clouds their amber linings show, and, edged with flame rolls every wave below. Gay. Nor must I forge it the refulgent luminaries of night, whose glittering, orbs are reflected from the ocean in millions of sparkling lusters. These are the beauties that excite the studious to a contemplation of the charms and wonders of nature, and to a conception of the omnipotency of him, who formed whatever exists. When we were in the tropical climate, a frequently came on deck during the middle watch of the night. When all was, still as the lonely mansions of the dead. Not being beard but the rippling of the waters as the ship glided over their surface. I usually seated myself. On the tafferel, and, leaning over the rail, viewed the vortex of fire sparkled foam that rose in the wake of the vessel, or contemplated the lightning, that illuminated the. To Madeira and the West Indies. 51. April. Amusements of the passengers, Ijk. P814. Atmosphere in a number of playful forms. Now the forked flash, darting down with a vivid glare, would leave all around in darkness, and stun the overpowered sight for a space, then the pale broadsheet illuminating the horizon, displayed thine to venning clouds in a variety of shapes, whose somber shades formed a striking contrast to the gilded curtain behind. All was grand and awful in the scene, and all proclaimed themselves to be the work of an omnipotent god, asterisk. During the day, while the more thoughtful passenger asterisk are enjoying themselves in this manner or with a book, the volatile are amusing themselves in a variety of forms more congenial to their taste, some are fishing some gaming, some enjoying themselves in conversation, or singing over a glass of grog. In the interim, the crew are employed in repairing the rigging and sails spinning rope yarns, plating senate, teasing gokum, painting the ship, and sea. On board of merchant ships at sea, the crew every night are divided into two watches, called the starboard. Asterisk note 14. 52. The Traveler's Guide. Apri. Mthadoff regulating the watches on board off ship. P814. Watch and the larboard watch, WHI.H relieve each other every four hours, that is if the starboard watch turn IU at 8 p.m. they are turned out at 12 p.m. by the larboard wasib, who then go to sleep. At 4 a.m. the Larboard watch are turned out in their turn, and the star. 
Bird watch again go to rest till 7 am when they are. Call it up for the day. Everyone on board then goes to breakfast, which being finished by 8 o'clock, the crew GD to work. At 12 o'clock, all hands are called to dinner, after which they resume their several occupations till 4 p.m. when the decks are cleared up AUD washed. At 6 r.m. all go low sub, or tea, if they have any, which being concluded, those who have the first watch for the night retire till 8 p.m. when the watch is set on. Between the hours of 4 and 8 in the afternoon there are two day watches, each of which is only two hours long. The intention of this watch is, talk inj the turn off toes who watch by ni carat ht, so that each watch may have four hours sleep j of night, and ate the other alternately. But, to return from my digression, being now anchored in Morant Bay, we began to dish urge our outward, and take a newer homeward, bound carzo. Eot 6. 6 I. Equals tie 3 o asterisk. 3 i, comma star. June is ebegden slash. To takey. Carpo, adds fkluru to thl. 28% complete the ships. To Madeira and the West Indies. 53. Mav Morant Bay described, sail for Falmouth. P81 t. Morant Bay is merely a small village, named after the bay, and at the bottom of which it lies. It is situated in the parish of St. Thomas in the E and lies about 30 miles e dot of Kingston, and 25, west of Morant Point, and Theblu Mountains rise a short way behind it. The bay is capable of containing a good many ships, and is very much frequented. After getting on board as much produce as wash ready for us in this quarter. Fig 61. We weighed anchor on the 26th of May, about sunset, and set sail for Falmouth, which is on the north side of the island, to complete our cargo. As the land breeze had set, and when we came out of the bay, by the morning we were wafted eastward as far as Morant Point, which we doubled just before the sea breeze began to blow, we then conton. Yud our course, and got to westward as far as Porto. Maria that day, and, on the following night, arrived off Falmouth, but as it is impossible to get into that harbour except during the sea breeze, we stood off and on all night. On the morning of the 29th, we got into the Habur, and in a short time the ship was safely moored. H. 54. The Traveler's Guide. May Falmouth described, presence off mind in a lady. P814. Falmouth is situated in the parish of Trelawney, and county of Cornwall and stands on the west side of Martha Bray Harbour, on a peninsulated point, being surrounded on two sides by the sea and in the other almost separated from the mainland by a marsh. On the extremity of the point is a small fort, built as a check to the American privateers, which sometimes came close in with the shore and captured the canoes or DRO carried OERS on the outside of the harbor, or landed their men, and committed depredations in the vicinity of the town. Appertaining to the fort there are barracks and a magazine, into which ships deposit their powder, on entering the port, to prevent accidents. Some years ago Falmouth caught fire in the night, and most of the houses being of wood, the whole town was soon in conflagration star. A white lady, who had escaped from her house in the midst of the alarm, with nothing on but her chemise, ran in that state, to the astonishment of everyone, several miles into the country, nor would she be persuaded to stop, or return, until satisfied that the fire was totally extinguished. On being interrogated by S.E. Verloff her acquaintance asterisk C. Enunte XEVR. Motive for this singular. To Madeira and the West Indies. 55. May. Falmouth Bay. P814. Behavior, she answered. THAC as she expected the fire would reach the powder magazine, she wished to be out of the way before it blew up. Which, indeed, was a caution that escaped the memories of most of the inhabitants. At the time. As the town is nearly surrounded by water, so is the bay, or harbour, almost encompassed by land. Round three of the sides, on which stands Falmouth the villages of Martha Bray and the rock, the most beautiful trees descend almost to the edge of the water a ridge of rocks extends across the fourth side, which looks to the sea, leaving an opening in the center barely sufficient for a ship to pass through. The interior of the bay is capacious, and though vast numbers of ships load here annually, and the entrance so difficult, very few accidents occur. This is, indeed, a charming bay, and to add to the beauty of the scene, the water, before the sea breeze sets in to ruffle the surface, is of such a diaphanous appearance, that the anchors, rocks, sand, and shells, are clearly observed as t the bottom whilst the fishes are seen to sport in shoals under the ship's keel. 112. 56. The Traveler's Guide. 
June rejoicing zone account peace, sail from Falmouth. P814. Whilst we lay here there were two days of public rejoicing. The one being the anniversary of His Majesty's birthday, and the other in consequence of a man of war schooner Cominin on. Fig 62. The June 13th, with the news of peace with France. To celebrate this event the military on shore fired a foot joy and thus hipping hoisted all their dags. At night the man of war fired some brilliant skyrockets, which went to such a distance as to astonish and confound our black conch, and made him break out into the most ludicrous exclamations, and no wonder for they actually seemed deshed to loose themselves amongst the stars. Having completed our cargo on the 28th, we unmoored during the night. Fig 63. And got out of Falmouth Harbor before the sea breeze set in next morning, and about noon. Fig, 64. Camato anchor in Monco Bay, where the ships on the. To Madeira and the West Indies. 57. July. Montego Bay, sail for Negril Point. P8 star. Inside of the island were assembling previous to joining. The convoy. Montego Bay is a long town, stretching round a large bay of the same name, with a pleasant hill extending behind it. This place is considered the most delightful seaport in Jamaica. It lies in the same county as Falmouth, and exceeds the latter both in population and extent. The bay has an open entrance from the sea, but it is difficult to come to an anchor in it unless well acquainted with the ground, on account of the unevenness of the bottom, as, at one place, you may find soundings at 30 fathoms, and, 50 or 60 yards distant, find none at 80. There have been instances of ships almost running ashore after their anchors were gone, on account of jetting go in a wrong place and the anchor finding no bot. Tom to Hoyabai. Fig 65. We left Montego Bay on the east of July, in company with Fee.Man of War and about 40 merchantmen, for Negril Point, which was the general rendezvous, to join the con. Voy. 58. The Traveler's Guide. July. Join Convoy.Jamaica, Discovery QF, SJC. P814. Fig 60. On the afternoon of the 2nd, we came up with the convoy a few hours after they had sailed from Negril Point, when the captain went aboard off Commodore and received instructions, and we proceeded with the fleet. Being now once more fairly at sea, I shall return to give some general particulars of the island Wycliffe we so lately left. Jamaica, which is the most valuable colony in the West Indies belonging to the English, and the third in extent of all those islands, being 160 miles long 60 Australian dollars la road, was discovered by Columbus on the 3d of May, 1494, and captured by the English in 1655, in whose possession it has ever since remained. This island is a beautiful appearance from the sea. The ground rises gradually from the water's edge into little hills, covered with the most delicate verdure, and separated from each other by volleys filled with delightful groves, through the center of which a stream generally winds along. Behind these acclivities a vast chain of mountains arises, W. Ho's dark shady woods form an exquisite contrast to the soft tint of the foreground. These mountains extend to Madeira and the West Indies. 59. July Blue Mountains, Subdivisions the Island. P814. Along the whole length of the island, separating the N from the S side, which differ greatly from each other both in appearance and climate. Of these heights, the Blue Mountains, which are situated at the end of the range are the highest. Besides the pleasant effect arising from the variety of hues and forms which meet the sight, the beauty of the scenery is further augmented by the frequent appearance of a cascade, tumbling precipitately from mountain to rock till it is lost in the valley below. Nor is it the optical organs alone that are gratified here, for the harmonious notes of the feathery tribe salute the ear with melody, and the palate is treated with fruits of the most delicious flavor. This island is divided into three counties, which are situated and subdivided as follows, Surrey lies in the end, and contains seven parishes, Middlesex lies in the middle, and contains eight parishes, and Cornwall lies in the W end, ARD contains five parishes. These twenty parishes are laid out into numerous sugar estates and other settlements. The produce of the island, for exportation, is sugar, rum, coffee, ginger, indigo, pimenta, cotton, molasses six, Arrowroot, Log. 60. The Traveler's Guide. July It's Produce, Sugar Making Described. P814. Wood, Fustic, Mahogany, Hides, and Sea amongst the fruits, which grow in abundance are oranges, lemons, limes, 
grapes, figs, shaddock citrons, pomegranates, mammies, tamarinds, sweet sops, pineapples, papaws, star apples, prickly pears, melons, pompions, plantains, cocos, coconuts, cashew nuts, yams, and cc. There are also cinnamon, cedar, ebony, and lignum vitae trees. I shall conclude this list of the vegetable productions, with asterisk a short account of the manner in which sugar is made. The first processed cane goes through after being cut down, is grinding, which is performed in a mill, turned either by wind or water, the latter of which is preferable, both on account of its superior strength, and the regularity with which it can be carried on. These mills consist of three iron-plated cylinders, or rollers, placed close to each other, in a perpendicular position, the middle OUE, to which the moving power is applied, turns the other two by means of cogs. From the bottom of these rollers, about three feet from the floor, a wooden bench projects forward, at which a negro, called the feeder, stodids, and receives the canes, with which he feeds them. The rollers in revolving. To Madeira and the West Indies. 61. Yuli. Process of sugar making continued. P8U. Draw in the canes between the first and middle one, round the back of which they are turned by a hollow framework, and return through between it and the third one almost in a state of powder, and squeezed completely dry, this is called trash, and is passed through a trap door to the cockpit, from whence it is carried by negro women and girls, termed green trash carriers slash to the trash houses, and from these houses afterwards removed by another gang, called dry trash carriers, who supply the boiling house fires with dry trash for fuel. The cane juice I received into a leaden bed under the rollers, and thence is conveyed through a drainer into another called the receiver. From the receiver the liquor runs along a wooden gutter into the boiling house, where it is received into one of the pans or clarifiers. When the clarifiers, of which there are Jenner, a lie three, are placed in the middle of the house, there is a set of three boilers in a tichi, with three or four coolers in the axide which is called a double boiling house, as in the single one the clarifiers are placed at one end and the tichi at the other, with three boilers between them, and consequently, can only boil half the quantity of liquor in the same time as the other. As soon as the 62. July. The Traveler's Guide. Process of sugar making continued. P81 star. Clarifier is filled with liquor from the receiver, and tie fire applied, the temper, which is alkali, or lime is stirred into it. This is done in order to neutralize the superabundant acid, to get rid of which is the great desideratum in sugar making. The heat is suffered to increase till it nearly rises to the heat of boiling water, but the liquor must not be allowed to boil. When the scum begins to rise, and break into blisters, which generally appears in about 40 minutes the damper is applied, and the fire extinguished. The liquor is now drawn off, by means of a cock at the bottom of the clarifier, and runs into a leaden gutter which conveys it to the first or evaporating copper, it backslash s. Then suffered to boil, and the scum, as it rises, is continually take a off by large scum rayers, till the liquor be. Comes finer and thicker. It is then ladled into the second. Copper, where the same process is continued, after the liquor has been further reduced by evaporation and scum and it is ladled into the third copper and after undergoing the same in the third copper it is then ladled into the tichi, in this copper it is called syrup being by this time of a thick substance after going teen I another evaporation till it is supposed to be boiled enough, which is known by to Madeira and the West Indies. 63. July. Process of sugar mousing continued. PSH. The appearance of grain on the back of the ladle, or by taking up a small quantity of the liquor between the forefinger and thumb, and, as the heat diminishes drawing the liquor into a thread, by extending the forefinger, when, if the thread snaps about a quarter of an inch long, the sugar is properly boiled. It is then ladled into the cooler, which is a shallow wooden vessel, about six feet long and four feet wide. From the cooler the sugar is taken to the curing house, where it is potted, or put into the hog's heads. The curing house is a long building, the floor of which consists of strong beams, without boarding, on which the hog's heads are placed. Each hog shed has five holes bored in its bottom and through each of the holes the stalk of a plant and leaf is thrust, which is kept upright by being made fast to a cross piece of wood that is laid over the hog's head. Into these hog's heads the mass from the cooler is put, and the molasses drained through the spongy stalk a cistern below the beams. The sides of this cistern are sloped and lined with boards, from whence, when the molasses have accumulated, it is removed for 12. 
64. July. The Traveler's Guide. Rum Distillation. P8H. Distillation 9 Torum. After the sugar has stood here a few weeks, and become dry and fair, it is said to be cured. The hogs heads are then headed up, and shipped for Brie. Tain, or elsewhere. For the information of the curious I shall also briefly know. Ties the distillation off rum. The house in which this is car. Ryden, is called the still house, and is built of stone. It contains the following apparatus to copper stills a larger and a smaller, with pewter worms, proportionable to them, one or two tanks, or cisterns, for holding the water, in which the worms are immersed, one cistern for containing the dunder or lees, another for scummings from the boiling house, twelve fermenting vats, made of firm planked wood, and thick head in the ground, pumps, for pumping up the dunder and liquor from the cisterns, and several large vessels for containing the spirit when distilled. The ingredients used in the process of distilled.ition are, dunder, molasses, scummings, and water, which in Jamaica, are usually compounded in the following proper actions. To Madeira and the West Indies. Comma. July animals in Jamaica, the lizard species. P8I4. Dunder, or lees. Sea sweets, 1 IO2 per 1 F misolasius S. 50 Gauls. T066 Gauls L. Li2 Gal S. Underscore GAS more molasses J6J. Water. 8 Gauls. 100 Gauls. When there is a greater quantity of scummings, and less molasses, less dunder is requisite, and vice versa. This mixture ought to produce in the proportion of 1 gallon of low wine to 4, or 1000 gallons should make 250 gallons of the latter. When the low wines are obtained from the above mixture, after being properly mixed and fermented be means off the larger still, they are made to undergo, by means off the smallest, a second distillation, which completes the process of bringing the spirit TNJA. May caproof. The proportion of rum has been estimated as 3 to 4, but perhaps 2 to 3 comes nigher. The truth. I shall now proceed to notice the animated productions pf this island. These consist of wild boars, mookies, snakes alligators, lizards and sea. Of these I shall only mention the lizard, as being the most familiar and best. 66. The Traveler's Guide. Jolt. Aerial and Insectal Tribes. P814. Known. This class is composed of a great variety of species, descending from the crocodile to the newt, the last of which links them with insects, and the first with quadrupeds. Their colors are various as their kinds, and some of them beautiful, but the beauty oft skin is obliterated by the hideous aspect of the animal it covers. They have all four short legs, the foremost resembling the arms and hands of a human being. Some of them have aridged spine extending along their back and their tail which is as thick as their body at the root, and generally tapers away into a small point. Some have teeth, and others none, some are venomous and others not, some of. The latter are eat as carrot medicinin different diseases. Their common food is insects, fruits, and vegetables, and they are reckoned amphibious. Those that usually frequent the houses in Jamaica are from 4 to 14 inches in length. From these animals I shall pass on to take notice of a few of the aerial tribes and insectal animalcule which inhabit the island. Of the first, among which there are carrion vultures, parrots, parakeets, ground doves hum. To Madeira and the West Indies. 67. July. The Hummingbird. P814. Mino birds, and C, I shall only describe the last. The hummingbird is the small stand most beautiful of the feathered race. This species consists of several varieties, the largest being about half the size of a common wren, from which they gradually decrease a toe that of the humble bee. The plumage of small thumbing bird, which is by far the prettiest, is of a bluish green, richly tinged with gold, resembling the hues of the Iina peacock's feather. It has a small crest on its head, of a golden appearance, and its bill and eyes are of a jet black. Their nests, which are nearly the shape and size of half of a hen's egg, are situated on the twig of an orange or tama. Rind tree, they are lined with cotton, to exclude the cold underneath, and are covered with a leaf, which serves as an awning to protect them from the sun and rain. The whole nest is of exquisite workmanship. In these little dwellings they lay their eggs, which have the appearance of a small pearl and are about the size of a pea. The largest species have jet eyes, and bills the same as the miniature brood, but i.a. the beauty of their plumage are far inferior. As all the species subsist on tiny sweets of flowers, 
AUD blossoms of fruit, they are furnished with a 68. The Traveler's Guide. JRLY. The Scorpion. P814. Small forky tongue for the purpose of extracting their honeyed meals. Among the insect species, the most curious are scorpions, centipedes, dragonflies, fireflies, mosquitoes, ants, and jiggers. The scorpion is one of the largest of the insect tribe. Fig 122. It somewhat resembles the lobster in shape. The head, in which four eyes are placed, seems jointed to the breast. The mouth is divided and furnished with two jaws, the undermost off which being divided into two serve s four teeth asterisk. With we it breaks its food, and thrusts it into its mouth. On each side of the head are two arms, each composed of four joints, the last of which is large, and formed in the manner of a lobster's claw, having two strong nippers at the extremity. Below the breast there are eight legs, each consisting of six joints, each of the two hindmost having two crooked claws. The body, which is of an oval form is composed of seven rings, from thence is continued a tail of six globular joints, the end of which is armed. To Madeira and the West Indies. 69. July cure for the bite off scorpion, the centipede. P314. With a crooked sting. Numbers of these animals were brought on board whilst we lay at Falmouth, among the logwood, having taken refuge, during the damp weather. In the holes of the wood, from which they sallied forth, when it became dry, in the ship, and frequently stung some of the crew. When this occurred we applied a literum, in which we had drawn several scorpions, to the wound, AUD in a short time both the swelling and pain abetted. They are remarkably ferocious, and will sting themselves with rage if they cannot reach or injure their adversary. Those which I saw were from two to four inches long, and of a yellowish brown color, dotted with yellow spots. Fig 125 The centipede or scolopendra consists of a great many joints, and each joint has a leg on each side, from the number of which they are called centipedes. They have no eyes, but they have two feelers on the head, with which they grope their way. They are of a blunt rounded form at both extremities, one of which is the head. K. 70. The Traveler's Guide. July. The dragon and fire flies. P8H. And from Theo there a large sting ejects out, as dangerous as that of the scorpion. They are from 4 inches to 1 foot long and of a fight green color. Fig 123. The dragon fly, or libella, has a long body, divided into 11 rings, the color of which is most beautiful, being either green blue, crimson, scarlet yellow white, or a mixture of all these together. The ice are a large horny, and transparent, and their wings, of which they have four, are of a shining silvery appearance. There are several kinds, and the largest sort are about three inches long. The firefly is the male of the glow worm. Its wings are cased the same as the beetles. It is about half an inch long, the body slender, and of a light yellowish brown color. They have a beautiful appearance in the dark, and to the imagination of one who has never seen them before, they appear to be the sparklings emitted. From a fiery oaf woodland make him dread lest the bushes amongst which they sport should catch fire. So brilliant is the light emitted by them, that it is said to be P.O.S. To Madeira and the West Indies. 71. July. The Mosquito. P.H. Sible to read from the luster they shed around them when a number is placed under a glass. They are very. Harmless. The Mosquito, which is a species of gnat and theme is troublesome, as well as the most numerous insect in the West Indies is about onion of an inch long of a dark color and has four wings. The stings, which are placed in a sheath under the throat, are remarkably fine and sharp, and can be darted out or drawn into this case at pleasure. Although the incision made by the mosquito is small, yet from the number they make, and the vicinity oft swings to each other, they generally run tog ether, and form wounds that will admit the end of the finger. While we lay in Jamaica, there was scarcely one of the crew who had not his legs severely ulcerated by the bites of these insects, and as he have generally a sherry of anything in that way, he was rendered lame upwards of a month. To prevent their intrusions the people on shore have thin gauze curtains, that fall down to the floor and are closed. All around. K2. 72. The Traveler's Guide. July the Ant. The Jigger How Io Preventes Intrusion. P814. Fig 124. The ant is next to the mosquito for its pestiferous qualities and numerous breed, of which there are several different species and colors. There is a small kind, 
called blasts, which will destroy the whole canes on a piece. In a short time, those that came on board the ship were of the same form as the European ants, of a glossy black color, and about he tenth of an inch long. One have heard of them eating gout children's eyes, but of the authenticity of this I am rather dubious, as he have had my eyes swole. Led all round with their stings, without the pupil being in the least affected by them. The jigger, for absurd as the name is it know it by NQ other, is of the smaller species of animalcule, being more diminutive than the mite. This minute animal eats its way into the toes, and it is generally under the nail of the toe where it propagates its young. Though neither stockings nor shoes can keep it out, yet people who have their feet covered, are no asterisk so liable toe but act as those who go barefooted for, indeed, in the latter case, it is l. Most impossible to avoid it. When it enters the toe. To Madeira and the West Indies. 73. July motives for contentment with our own climate, P811. It causes a violent itching, and appears in the form of a small black speck, which penetrates deeper into the flesh the longer it is suffered tormain. If not taken out immediately it begins to form and copyright various bag about the size of a pea, when the operation of removal becomes not only painful, but dangerous, for, if you break the semi-embraneous cell in extracting it, you must then cut the adhesive flesh all round the bag out along with it, or run the risk of your whole foot or even your leg being reduced to a state of suppuration, of which case numerous instances have occurred. On board off our ship, a boy was in such a state through inattention at first that all the toes and onav. His feet were reduced to a mass of purulent matter, but as he left the ship at this period, I cannot state to what length the effects of his negligence extended. The most efficacious and simple way of preventing the bait effects or the jigger, is, by picking it out whenever the itching begins with a penknife, a needle, or any sharp dot pointed in. Strument. Since these are the attendants on a tropical climate, let us not run at the less genial atmosphere of our own. 74. The Traveler's Guide. July. Modic procuring the conch shell. P814. For if we are not favored with the luxuries that spring in exuberance under IHE zone, we're also exempted from the plagues that are nurtured by a vertical sun, and doubt rather to be happy, that we are placed in a clime, where we enjoy the influence of the luminary of day, without being scorched by his beams. Liberal, not lavish, is kind nature shand, nor was perfection made for man below. Yet all her schemes with nicest art are planned, good counteracting ill, and gladness woe. Beat tie. The rivers in Jamaica are no less abundant than the mountains and volleys, for they yield plenty of fish of various kinds, and the sea besides producing abundance of these species, also abounds with turtles, and shells, of the most beautiful dyes. Amongst the prettiest of the latter is the conch, which often adorns our chimney pieces in Britain, and is procured in the following manner, two negroes get into their canoe in the morning about sunrise, when the surface of the sea is perfectly smooth. One stands at the prow of the canoe searching the bottom of the water with his eyes whilst the other paddles it back asterisk. To Madeira and the West Indies. 75. July. Inhabitants QF Jamaica. P814. Wards and forwards. When the Oni and the Outlook perceives Ashel, which is easily distinguished be its luminous appearance being ready stripped, he dives to the bottom, which is often more than 30 fathoms deep, and brings up the conch. He continues his researches in like manner till 10 o'clock, when the sea breeze sets in, and prevents them from seeing the bottom bay disturbing the surface of the water into turbulent bubbles. They then g and sell their spoil which brings them more or less according to the beauty of the shells. Having said this much respecting the productions of Jamaica, it is now time issued say something of its inhabitants, these consist of about 30,000 whites, and 261,400 people of color. The last are divided into the following degrees, Sambos, who are the offspring of a black and a mulatto, mulattoes, who are of a black and a white, quadroons, who are of a mulatto and a white, musties, or cantrons, who are of a quadroon aud a white, by the law, the progeny of a musty and a white, are counted white. It appears that 250,000 of these are. 76. The Traveler's Guide. July. How accounts are kept. P814. Employed as slaves, 10,000 are freemen, and the other 1,400 are maroons. The whites are employed in the service of government, or as merchants, attorneys, overseers, clerks, and bookkeepers, and all were not immediately employed under government, are formed into a militia, 
for which they have to purchase their own accoutrements. And a tenth exercise once a month. Accounts are kept in pounds, shillings, pence, and farthings, Jamaica currency. The subdivisions of the pounds are the same as in England. The exchange with Britain is fixed at 40 per centre and pound D sterling is equal to 7 pounds Jamaica currency. The following are the current coins in Jamaica. Gold currency. Portuguese Jonas pound I10-0. Half Joe, 2 15 0. Quarter Joe 176. Moidor 200. Half Ditto. 00, zero Spanish comma, doubloons 568. 2 pistoles 213 4 pistole 1 C8 half pistole 013 4. Gold. Currency. English, Guinea, pound 112 6. Half Guinea 0 16 3. 7 She, piece 0 10 10. Silver. Currency. Spanish, dollars, pound 068. Half ditto, 034. Macarons 018. Pistrines 0010. Bit. 005. To Madeira and the West Indies. 77. July. The island more healthy than formerly. P814. As there are no copper coins current in Jamaica, a bit, or J carat of a dollar, is the smallest piece they have. The weight sand measures here are the same as in England. The climate of Jamaica varies considerably, from the mountainous nature of the country, the atmosphere of the rising grounds being pure and salutary, whilst, in low situations, its insalubrity proves fatal to numbers on their first arrival. This being the case, the most certain means of preservation recommended is the removal of the sick into a purer air, which invigorates and animates the vital system more than any medicine that can be administered by a physician, and this may be done by conveying them only a few miles to an elevated situ. Asian. Indeed, so diversified is the climate of this island, that, in some places, there is a difference of 10 degrees within the extent of 8 miles. Buthauver. Unhealthy the island of Jamaica may be at certain periods of the year, it is now much healthier than it was several years ago. This progressive change in the climate is a tribute to the gradual increase of cultivated ground, and it is possible at some future period, should the whole I. 78. The Traveler's Guide. July St. Iago, Kingston, Situation off Island. P814. Island ever be cleared of those impenetrable woods, and drained of its stagnant marshes, that Jamaica may be held up as an abode of health, as much as it was formerly dreaded for its pestiferous qualities. The capital is St. Iago de la Vega, or Spanish town, and the principal seaport town, is Kingston. This land is situated between long. 75 degrees 55 minutes and 78 degrees 50 minutes west and lat. 17 degrees 30 minutes and 18 degrees 35 minutes north. On this account the climate varies very little throughout the year and the days and nights are nearly the same length. Twilight is off short duration, and sunset is generally succeeded by lightning. It is noon there when 5 o'clock p.m. in Britain. It shall now be to you to Jamaica, and only add, in the words of Falconer that, there. Creation smiles around, one of eerie spray the warbling bird sex all clear evening lay. The golden lime and orange there were seen. On fragrant branches of perpetual green jay the crystal streams, that velvet meadow slave, to the green ocean roll with chiding wave, the glassy ocean hushed, forgets to roar. But trembling murmurs in the sandy shore. To Madeira and the West Indies. 79. Jolie Grand Cayman Method of Preserving Turtle. P814. Fig 67. On the third day after sailing, we passed the Grand Cayman, a small island, lying about 70 leagues W by N4N of Jamaica. This island produces abundance of turtle, of which we purchased several from the canoes that came off. Fig.68 The largest of these weighed upwards of 100 pounds and almost filled the puncheons they were put into. It is remarkable, that although the only sustenance these animals received, was the intestines of a fowl occasionally, they increased considerably in Meguita during their passage ato Britain. But though they are thus abstemious in point of food, great care must be taken with them otherwise. The water must be run out of the puncheon every morning, and fresh water from the sea put in. While this is doing, they are generally taken out of the casks and laid on their backs on the deck star. When in this situation, it is affecting to observe the melancholy figure. Asterisk note 16. 80. 
The Traveler's Guide. Jui.y Stormy Petrels Coxcomb Mountain. PA, asterisk. They assume. The eyes of the animal are suffused with tears, and it sends forth the most sorrowful sighs, as if its heart was breaking. Excessive cold is always fatal to them, and numbers die when crossing the banks of Newfoundland, and immediately on their arrival in Britain. Fig 69. On the 8th we got sight of Cuba, and lost sight of it. The same day, about this time, we doubled Cape St. Antonio, the westernmost point off Theus land. Fig 7 Quetzales. We saw a number of stormy petrels here. Fig 71. On the 13th we again made the land, we now continued to sail along the shore, and on the following day. Fig 72. Past Coxcomb Mountain, the resemblance of which, bears great affinity to the fleshy excrescence from which it derives its name. Pern 7 asterisk. To Madeira and the West Indies. 81. J degree T asterisk I. Dolphin fishing described. P814. Fig 73. On this day our captain, who, for expertness in using the fish gig, I believe, none could surpass, caught a dolphin. This instrument consists of a staff, with three or more barbed prongs of steel, and a line fastened to one end, and to the other a piece of lead is fitted on, which gives additional force to the stroke, and causes the points to turn upwards after the fish is struck, which being thus turned belly up, and the compression of its weight leaning on the prongs, its endeavor to escape serves suddenly to entangle it the more, and it is then hauled safely aboard. The dolphin's body is straight and slender, gradually tapering towards the tail, and very much resembling the form of a mackerel. It has a long dorsal fin, extending from the top of its head almost to the extremity of its rabod, dash. The forepart of its head is almost perpendicular, like the stem of a ship, and admirably formed for cutting the water. They taste much like the mackerel, and are a delicious morsel at sea. We saw them from 18 inches to 7 feet long. 82. The Traveler's Guide. July. Arrivy off Cuba, Havana described. P814. On the 15th we arrived off Havana. Fig 74,75, 77. Off which place, we stood off and near three days, waiting for such ships in the harbor as were ready to join the convoy. This town is situated in then. W side of Cuba. It lies in the latitude of the Tropic of Cancer. The town which is circumvallated stands on the west side of an extensive harbor, the entrance into which, is defended by Fort Moro on the east side, and St. Mary's Fort on th W. This entrance will only admit one ship at a time, though the interior will contain near 1,000 vessels. Havana is the capital of Cuba, which is the largest island in the West Indies being upwards of 730 miles long and 87 broad. The country is mountainous in the interior but approaches more to a level towards the sea. Its produce is the same as the other West India islands, but it raises, in particular, a considerably greater quantity of tobacco than any other. Accounts are in pesos of 8 reals, or 34 maravedi mexicanos. A peso, or dollar, being worth. About fours. Three JD Spanish weights and measures are used. Here. To Madeira and the West Indies. 83. July. Situation Cuba recross the tropic. P814. This island is situated at the entrance of the Gulfs of Mexico and Florida, and lies between long. 74 degrees 35 minutes and 85 degrees 30 minutes west and lat.19 degree 45 and 23 degrees 30 minutes north. The climate varies with the different seasons of the year, and, in some seasons its unhealthiness proves fatal to many of the inhabitants. Fig 76-79. On the 15th we caught three dolphins, and on the 18th asterisk 9, which, being made into chudder, afforded a fresh mess for all hands. Fig 80. The same day were crossed the Tropic of Cancer, and were carried, in a short time, by the current of the Gulf of Florida, outside of Cuba. Fig 78. Which disappeared in the form of a distant hummock. 84. The Traveler's Guide. Jasonly beautiful description of a dying dolphin. 1814. The weather was delightful when coming through the Gulf, a circumstance which does not often occur, being a place that is generally noted for boisterous weather. Fig 81, 82. On the 19th we caught a dolphin, and on the twoest another. The beauties displayed by the latter in his dying agonies surpassed anything that he had hitherto seen, and a just idea of them cannot be better conveyed than in the following beautiful line s of Falconer who was himself a sailor, and had an opportunity of drawing the picture. From nature. 
What radiant changes strike the astonished sight? What glowing hues of mingled shady and light? Not equal beauties gild the lucid west with parting beams all over profusely dressed. Not lovelier colors paint the vernal dawn, when Orient dews imperial th enameled lawn, than from his sides in bright suffusion flow, that now with gold imperial seem to glow, no in pellucid sapphires meet the view, and emulate the soft celestial hue, now beam a flaming crimson on thigh, and now assume the purple's deeper dye. Buthier description clouds each shining ray, what terms of art can nature's powers display? Flute 8 asterisk. S of the band slash CS of J E O Finland G. 25 C Cape Fly Away Retral Kali C L and A R underscore. To Madeira and the West Indy Pound. 85. August a flying fish comes on board described. P814. Fig 83. On the 31st, we saw a number of blubbery substances, resembling serpents, floating under the surface of the water. The only vital motion they appeared to possess was that of contracting themselves into a circle, and then extending their bodies, and of sinking or rising in th. Water at pleasure. Fig 84. On the 1st of August a flying fish flew on board of the ship. This is a beautiful little creature, and feels remarkably soft and tender. It is 6 or 7 inches long. The bee duddock is a pure transparent blue, the belly white, and the wing so fan azure color. The wings are large pectoral sins, composed of pinions, connected together by a membrane so very slender, as to be ruffled by the slightest compers sure between the fingers. They generally fly in shoals, and have much the appearance of a slock of swallows. When pursued by the dolphin, they will fly about 60 yards, touching the surface of the water with their tails, all at once they will take another spring, and so continue, dipping and flying, till they ave either out of their enemies. M. 86. The Traveler's Guide. August Squalls, Bank of Newfoundland, Fishery QF, P814. Reach, or quite exhausted by their exertions, when they become an easy prey to their voracious pursuers. Indeed. This seems to be the most unfortunate little creature in existence, for, not only the aquatic species, but also the aerial, are in perpetual league against it, and often INITS. Endeavors to avoid both, like the individual just men it meets a more tedious, but no less certain destruction, by throwing itself within therapacious grasp of man. Fig 85. On the 3D we had several squalls, in one of we we got one of our main topmast studding sails split, and on the 6th, we saw numbers of stormy petrels. Fig 86, about the 8th we crossed the south extremity of the Great Bank of Newfoundland. This bank is situated off the island of Newfoundland in North America. It is about 480 miles in length and 270 in breadth, and is rendered famous from the vast numbers of cod which are caught on it and the adjacent banks annually. The fish. To Madeira and the West Indies. 87. August thick weather, sea dolphins for the last time. P81 star. Ang season lasts from February to May, and so extensive is the fishery carried on during this period, that no less than 10,000 people are employed in salting and drying the fish. The vessels employed in exporting the produce of these banks, are upwards of 100 tons burthen and each of them catch from 0.30,000 to 40,000 fish star. At this time eth weather was remarkably hazy, so that the ships in the fleet had to keep bells going and horns blowing to prevent running foul of each other as we could not see the length of the ship. Fig 87. On the 13th we saw dolphins for the last time. There is azure prizing phenomenon, produced by a dense vapor that sometimes rises out of the sea and deludes the seamen with the appearance of land and is called by them Cape Flyaway. On the 15th, we found Ewers elves embayed in the midst of one of these visionary countries. The Asterisk Note 17 M2 88 The Traveler's Guide August Cape Flyaway, Fleet Separate, Silly Islands P814 Scene was delightful. The sun shone with brightness, and formed a most splendid contrast with the ermine-clouded sky, whilst the gentle swelling waters reflected back the azure and golden shades of the heavenly canopy. On three sides we appeared to be surrounded by a highland, the distance of which was such, as just to make the color appear of a verdant tinge. So exact was the resemblance to a land, and so vividly did imagination paint the ver. Dur and the hills, that issued have actually believed. That the ship was embayed in a beautiful bay, had one not known that we were at that moment some hundred miles distant from any yet discovered shore star. Fig 89. On the 22nd the fleet separated. 
The ships that were going down St. George's Channel steering more northerly, and those bound up the English Channel, keeping on their course. Fig 89. On the afternoon of the 28th we got sight of Scilly. Asterisk note 18. To Madeira and the West Indies. 89. August. Melancholy shipwreck. P814. Islands, being the first land we made after leaving Cuba, and exactly six weeks from that period. These islands have been the cause of many tragical and disastrous scenes of shipwreck, amongst which is recorded that of Sir Cloud S. Lee Shovel, which happened in the beginning of the last century, under the following circumstances. On the morning of the October 22, 1707, a fleet, consisting of ten ships of the line, five frigates, four fireships, a sloop, and a yacht, under the command of this admiral, came into soundings, and lay to about noon. At 6 p.m. Sir Cloud S. Lee made sail, and stood away under his courses, believing, as it is supposed, that he saw the lights on Scilly, but soon after several of the fleet, amongst whom was the admiral's own ship, the association, made signals of distress, and presently struck on the rocks of Scilly. The admiral, with all his crew, and the crew of two other ships perished. His body was thrown ashore next day, and after being stripped, was buried in the sand by some fishermen, but JT was afterwards removed, and conveyed to London, where? Asterisk note 19. 90. The Traveler's Guide. August. Lizard Lights, Eddie Stone Lighthouse. P8U. It was deposited with great funeral pomp in Westminster Abbey, and a marble monument, with a suitable inscription, erected to his memory. Silly Islands lie in long. 6 feet 43 inches W and lat. 49 degrees 57 minutes north and almost 11 leagues west from Thelane's end. Fig 90. We passed the lizard lights about half past 3 on the morning of the 29th. Fig 91. Same day past Dodman S point, and were Fig 92. Opposite the Eddystone Lighthouse at 11 o'clock p.m. This remarkable edifice is built on a large rock, which is covered by the tidy dot high water, and left dry at ebb. It is situated at the entrance of Plymouth Sound, about 14 miles from the town, and 12 pound miles distant from the nearest point of land. In 1696 the first lighthouse was begun by Mr. Wins Tanley, who finished it in 1700, and it. To Madeira and the West Indies. 91. August. Eddie Stone Lighthouse described. P8H. Was unfortunately destroyed in the dreadful storm of November 27th. 1703, when the architect perished along with it. In 1T09, another of a different construction, built of wood, was erected by M. R. Rodiard, which was consumed by fire in 1755. The present building was begun in 1757 and finished in 1759, by Mr. Smeaton, and is of a very curious construction. The rock, which slopes towards the SW is cut into horizontal steps, into which Portland stone and granite are let in by dovetails, and united by a strong cement. To form a strong and broad base, and great weight to resist the waves, the foundation is an entire mass of stones to the height of 35 feet, and grafted into each other, and united by every means that can render them secure. The structure has four rooms, only over the other, and at the top a gallery and lantern. The stone floors are flat above but concave below and are kept from pressing against the sides of the building by a chain let into the walls. The whole building is 80 feet high, and has a most striking appearance at sea. 92. The Traveler's Guide. September Start Point, Portland Bill, Isle of White. PSL Star. Fig 93. On the 30th we passed the start point, and. Fig 94. On the 31st, Portland Bill. Fig 95. On the 1st of September we doubled St. Albans Head. And. Fig 96. Made the Isle of Wight. The wind being now foul, we endeavored to get into Spithead, which we accomplished next day, and came to an anchor on the mother bank. Off the town of Ride in the Isle of Wight. Fig 97 This beautiful lily is situated on the south coast of Hampshire, from which it is separated by a narrow channel. It is about 21 miles in length, and 13 in breadth. The S side off the island is bordered by steep chalky cliffs, at the W extremity of which stands a lighthouse, and where? Plan. 9. To Madeira and the West Indies. 93. September. Sailing match. P814. There are several remarkable and lofty rocks, called the 
Needles. The inside consists, for the most part, of gentle sloping hills which are covered with verdure to the water's edge. From the E to the W end of the island runs a ridge of fine downy hills. Its produce is chiefly corn, fruit, pipe clay, and a fine crystalline sand. The air here is so salutary, that Dr. Lind calls it the Montpellier of England asterisk, and the prospect, from the English coast and the shipping in the strait is delightful. Fig 98. While we lay here, there was a grand sailing match betwixt a number of gentlemen's pleasure yachts. The scene weighs altogether gay and captivating from the assemblage of ladies and gentlemen that crowded the decks of the vessels, and the variety of distinguishing streamers with which they were graced. Asterisk see his essay on diseases incidental to European scene hot climates. Sick page 11 star. N. 94. The Traveler's Guide. September Beachy Head, D. Allen Thedones. P. 8 L. 4. Fig 99 Floating Lights. Fig 100. On the 5th we weighed anchor, and sailed from the Mother Bank. Fig 101, 102, 103, 104. On the 6th we passed Beachy Head Dover Deal and the Downs. Fig 105. We passed a small French vessel, bound to England. When passing us, it reminded me of the wonderful revolution that had taken place in the political world in the course of the few months that that elapsed since I last sailed along these shores, and the comparatively happy situation in which the two countries were now placed, with respect to each other, from what they had been for a number of years back I may say during the whole of my life, for any sort suspension of hostilities that has occurred during that period has had more of the appearance of a truce than a peace to Madeira and the West Indies. 95. September An Evening Scene, Dover Described P814. About the time we sailed through the Straits of Dover. The sun was about to commence the epoch of another day. In an opposite hemisphere, and his sinking beams arrayed. The sky in ineffable magnificence, whilst on inside of us. Underscore os the chalky cliffs of Albion, and, on the other, the French coast. Fig 106. Was clearly perceived. The cliffs of Dover present a beautiful appearance for the sea, and the castle, which stands on their summit, renders the scene still more picturesque. The castle is of great extent, occupying upwards of thirty acres of ground, and was begun by Julius Caesar. In the time of Thessaxons it was considered the key of England. The town of Dover is situated in Kent, and lies an asmi circular valley, closely surrounded by hills on the land side. It is only twenty-one miles distant from the French coast, and from it. The Straits derive their name. N2. 96. The Traveler's Guide. September Deal, The Downs, Orford Ness Lights. P814. Deal is a flourishing town, and is also situated in Kent, between the N and S Forelands. It has no harbor. Bew possesses a famous road, called the Downs, which lies between the land and the Godwin Sands, and extends from the north to the south Foreland, about Twaliags in length. This road is reckoned safe, and is often appointed as a rendezvous for outward bound fleets, and where, also those that return generally separate from their convoy. Tig.107 We got sight of Orford Ness lights on the morning of the 7th, but the wind coming foul, we were driven off the land which we did not make again till next day, when we beat into Sanford Bay, where we came to an anchor. Fig 109. Here we lost one of our anchors, which broke from the chain a short time after being let go. Fig 108. J underscore L underscore T underscore 10 asterisk. Appendiv. J carat Venus. To Madeira and the West Indies. 97. September. Lowe's Loft Roads, Yarmouth. P914. Fig point 110. On the 9th we beat into Lowest Off Roads, and again brought up, the wind blowing hard from the NE. Fig 111. On the 12th we beat into Yarmouth Roads, and again came to an anchor the wind continuing to blow from th. Same quarter. Fig.112 On the following day we weighed with the tide, but brought up once more a short way below our former station. The wind having veered round to the W during the night, we weighed next day, and proceed eat in our course. Yarmouth is a considerable seaport town, situated on the river Yatter, in Norfolk. It is generally known for its roads and unfortunate sand banks, on which ships are so frequently wrecked. In passing this place, however, one cannot help being grateful to a kind providence, for raising up such an instrument as Captain Manby, who by 
98. The Traveler's Guide. September Honorable Mention of Captain Manby. P814. His indefatigable exertions in the cause of humanity, has justly acquired a fame more lasting than their cords of time. The contrast in the use to which the same apparatus may be applied, is very striking, and adds greatly to the merit of the invention, for, with a ball, hitherto the messenger of death, this gentleman conveys the means of preservation to the distressed mariner, at the critical moment when death and delay are linked together, and in situations, where no human assistance can reach him by any other means. Fig 113, 114, 115. This day we passed Winter Tunnus, Hasboro, and Cromer, and on the morning of the 15th we were outside of land. During this day we passed. Fig 116. The Dudgeon Floating Lights, and got sight of Flamborough Headlights towards the evening. Fig 117. On the night of the 16th we were off Tynemouth. To Madeira and the West Indies. 99. Sptum underscore R. A tribute I owe Mr. Great Head. P814. After having mentioned Captain Ma underscore underscore Y at Yarmouth I cannot pass this place without noticing Mr. Henry Great Head of South Shields, the ingenious inventor of the lifeboat whose discovery has been the means of saving the lives of several hundreds of shipwrecked seamen, how pleasing must the latter hours of such men be, when they consider, that their lives have been spent not in augmenting, but in alleviating the sufferings, and lessening the evils of their fellow creatures, and if mankind were to reflect properly on the various calamities that surround them, they would be more ready to estimate, and reward as their benefactor, every individual, whose philanthropic exertions have a tendency to soften the poignancy of misfortune, or to abstract from the number of human woes. Fig 118. On the morning of the 17th we passed the Fern Islands, Bamburo Castle, Holy Island, and Barrack upon Tweed, the fortifications of which, remind us of the days of old and suggest grateful recollections for the Compara. 100. The Traveler's Guide. September the. Bass S. J. I. Carrot C. Arrive in Leith Roads. P814. Tivoli happy times we live in, when border feuds no longer agitate and disturb the peace of the adjoining countries. This day we also passed St. ABB's Head, Dunbar, the base, Fig 119. An inch Keith and brought up in Leith Roads. Fig 120. About 11 o'clock at night, after an absence of nearly eight months. To Madeira and the West Indies. 101. Appendix. Appendix. As many people going to the West Indies, are ignorant. Respecting the most proper clagathing to take with them, I subjoin he following information by way of appendix. The hats generally worn, are brought in the rim, for the purpose of protecting the eyes from the sun, which is a very necessary precaution, for, from its vertical position, it is very distressing to these tender organs when exposed to its rays. The most predominant color worn, is white, ash having the smallest power of attraction to heat, black being known to possess that pgwer more than any other color, coats are made of woolen cloth, or of Welsh flannel, the small clothes, are either woolen cloth, nankeen, jean, linen, or duck, the latter kind being made in the form of mosquito trousers. Flannel spurts are requisite to those who are accustomed with them, but to people who are not. E. 1. Copyright 2. Appendix to the Traveler's Gulo. Necessaries for the voyage. As to them, the wearing of cotton shirts in place of linen. Ones will answer the same purpose. As cabin passengers are generally made comfortable, when outward bound from the ship's provisions and stores or have it in their power with very little addition of their own to make themselves so, I shall just observe, that, young men going out steerage passengers in West India men should always provide themselves with the following necessaries for the voyage, one mattress and a pillow, two pair of blankets, or one pair of blankets and a rug. Sugar and tea or coffee, sufficient to serve them during the passage, also a large clasp knife, a tin jng, or basin, and a pot to boil their coffee or tea in. Those who go out to be clerks are either employed as such by attorneys on estates, or by merchants in their stores, but as the greatest number are employed as bookkeepers, from whence they are promoted to overseers, I shall only trace the lineations of these occupations. The duty of the overseer is to direct the management of the property. He rides over the cane pieces on the estates. To Madeira and the West Indies. 103. Duty of an overseer and bookkeeper. Every day, and sees that every person does his work. He also keeps on account of the stores, stock, and produce of the plantation, 
in which he is assisted by the bookkeeper. Of Thegedi of the bookkeepers, their first employment in the morning and last in the evening, is to number all the livestock as they go out and return to the pen to see that none are amusing or dead. If it is not crop time, they then attend the slaves to the fields, where they superintend them till sunset. The day is divided in the following manner they rise with the sun, and at half past eight go to breakfast, to which they are allowed about twenty minutes, at twelve o'clock the shell blows, and they go to dinner, either in the house or under the shade of a hedge, at two the shell again blows when they resume their labuai and continue till sunset, when they come home from the field. They then sup eating the clock, and retire for the night about half an hour after. Wards. In the crop time, or harvest, their employment varies from that of the other seasons, having to attend constantly in the distillery and biling house. The bookkeepers are then arranged in the following departments should there be three. 02. 101 Appendix to the Traveler's Guide. Employments in Crop Time. On the estate, the first, or iest, superintends the distillation of rum in TB still house, the second the sugar making in the boiling and curing nooses, and the third, keeps the keys of the storehouses, and gives out whatever is wanted for the use of house oi the slaves and must keep a direct account of all that passes through his hands. Where there are only two bookkeepers on an estate, the second one fills both of these last departments. The sugar making being kept going on all night, the bookkeepers relieve each other one half of the night so that where there are three, they have a whole a night's rest every third night. Bookkeepers as her have a room in the overseer's house, or a small separate dwelling of their own. They sit at the overseer's table except when employed at a distance from the house, or in the distillery or boiling house, when their victuals are sent them. Notes dash. 10. Notes and illustrations. Note I. Pace 15. There is another curiosity of a very singular nature in the Island of Madeira mentioned at Inveros Travels to China, viz., a chamber in one of the wings of the Franciscan convent, the walls and ceiling of which are completely covered with rows of human skulls and human thigh bones, so arranged, that in the obtuse angle made by every pair of the latter crossing each other obliquely, is placed a skull. The only vacant space that appears is in the center off the side opposite the door, on which, there is an extraordinary painting above a kind of altar. The door of this CA chamber was pointed out to me by a British officer, who lodged in the convent, which at that time served for military barracks, as we could not then get admission, I applied my eye to several crevices in the door, but the interior of the apartment was too dark for anything to be perceptible. Note 2. Page 18. Imposes on the senses of her deluded vitaries. Deluded indeed, must that people who can submit implicitly to impositions so gross, as what are practiced by the Romish church, on the weak and credulous disciples of her creed. But TB crafty priesthood know full well that the thoughtless multitude are ire to prone to be governed by Shu, and as long as they shall find them disposed to catch at such a bait, gaudy processions and imposing solemnity as of one kind or other, with all the foolish mummery that superstition can devise will not be wanting, to increase the number of their converts. R. 106. Notes and Illustrations. Note 3. Posse 22. This does not well accord with the accounts of those travelers who have been accustomed to represent Madeira as under the influence of a perpetual summer and spring but this land, being as it were one vast mountain, it must necessarily be divided into a variety of climates, and the favorable reports we have been accustomed to hear, it is reasonably to be presumed, have been made by those who have not previously given themselves. The trouble to explore the alpine solitudes of the island. Note 4. Page 23. In the religious establishment there is one thing which strikes me with astonishment, that is, how such a vast body as two thousand of their monkhoods, should get livelihoods in such a place. For, although many of them beg, notwithstanding the richness of the island, yet from its smallness one would suppose that all the charity in it, even when excited to a tenfold extent by superstitious credulity, would be far from adequate to supply so. Numerous are race of mendicants. Note v. Page 24. Such a situation for a female was no doubt singular but if it was selected as a retreat from the intolerable conduct of her depraved companions, which, indeed, her industrious pursuit gives us reason to hope, the insulated situation of this poor unfortunate was certainly well chosen, and we cannot but admire their judgment that could make such a selection, while we pity the misfortune that reduced her to the said necessity of seeking such an asylum as this forlorn hope from the farther conta. John of Viot. Note 6. Page 26. 
the peak of Tenerife has now been often ascended, and in Humboldt's personal narrative, lately published, there is as interesting and very particular account of a journey up the mountain, the fatigues of which, may be easily judged from the circumstance, that the descent alone occupied about nine hours. Although, according to Humboldt at the height of 1,728 toises. Notes and illustrations. 107. Or 11,050 feet, there is a cavern where ice is naturally preserved all the year over it does not appear that the top of the peak is perpetually covered with snow, it is rather presumed, that what may be mistaken for snow, when viewed at a distance, during some seasons off the year is nothing more than the heaps of volcanic ashes and fragments off pumice with which the slop off cone abounds. Note 7. Page 30. The authority of the custom of shaving and sea at crossing the line as is observed by Daniel, in his picturesque voyage to India, rests on long established precedent. The tight's validity is not acknowledged by a legal tribunal, appears from a case which occurred at Bombay, in 1802, when an action of assault and battery was brought by a gentleman against certain persons. Who had by force compelled him to submit to shaving and ducking. The outrage was clearly proved and the plaintiff obtained. A verdict of 400 rupees. Note 8. Page 31. The efforts of pursuit on one side, and the arts of escape on the other, in the words of Bigland, present a spectacle perfectly amusing. The Dorado is, on these occasions, seen darting after its spree, which will not leave the water while it can ensure its safety by swimming, but like the hunted hare, being at last wearied, it then has recourse to another expedient. The long fins which began to grow useless in TB water are now employed in a different manner, for by means of Tisane Stru. Mence the affrighted little creature rises out of the water, and flutters over its surface for the space of two or three hundred yards, till the moisture of its finny wings is exhausted or the muscles which move them are enfeebled be this extraordinary mode of exertion. During this time the animal has acquired a fresh power of renewing it three efforts in the water, and is capable of swimming with a considerable velocity. R2. 108. Notes and illustrations. Note 9. Page 32. What an unnatural ANJ antisocial state is a state of warfare, that even in the midst of the dangers of the ocean and pursuits of commerce, thus arms every man against his fellow creature, AUD instead of causing an human being to rejoice when he occasionally meets with another of the same species in midst of the watery waste renders it necessary for him to take such horrid measures of precaution in order to ensure his own safety. Ah. Why will kings forget that they are men? And men that they are brethren? Why delight? I on fen huamchu arn sath crave tixiho, uldukin yet. Burst. There. The ties souls together. In one soft bond of amity and love? Portus. Note xp underscore dot ge 34. The vast quantities of seaweed that posses us in the Atlantic. Is driven from the shore by the strong currents, which run in various places of that vast ocean. This weed is of a light yell. Lowish green when in. The water and when taken first out, but. It soon after fades, a jit assumes a brown shade. The stem, which is ramified, is covered with small leaves and berries. Which are cleared off the stalks, and preserved in jars, amongst vinegar, ginger, and pepper. These are not used for sale, but. Merely brought by the officers of ships as presents for their friends in Britain, where they are used as a pickle. Note 11. Pages. How the Spaniards could reconcile such conduct with the spirit of that humane and benign religion they so zealously professed, it is difficult to comprehend, but it is no less astonishing, that, in homage of superior illumination, they should still be so obstinately attached to the prosecution of a traffic so repugnant to Christianity, as well as so shocking to human reason and feeling, as the African slave trade. But, ah! What wish can prosper, or what prayer? for merchants rich in cargoes off despair, who drive a loathsome traffic, gauge, and span, and buy the muscles and thee bones of man. Cowpea. Notes and illustrations. 109. Note 12. Page 46. The fate of Toussaint, like that of many other victims to the diabolical policy of that period, has in some degree been wrapped in mystery, but there is no doubt that he was imprisoned in France, and the general opinion seems to be that he did not come to his end by fair means. Note 13. Page 49. The following is the address here alluded to. Hatians. Your sentiments, your generous resolution, are worthy of us, your king shall always be worthy of you. Out indignation is at its height. 
Let Haiti from this moment, be only one vest camp, let us prepare to combat those tyrant asterisk who threaten us with chains, slavery, and death. Haitians. The whole world has its eyes fixed upon us, our conduct must. Confound our calumniators and justify the opinion wickful an asterisk. Thrupist chave formed of us. Let us rally, let us have but one and the same wish that of exterminate in ger tyrants. On the unanimous cooperation of our union of our efforts will depend the prompt success of our cause. Let us exhibit to posterity a great example of courage, let us combat with glory, and be effaced from the rank of nations, rather than renounce liberty and independence. A king, we know asterisk how to live and die like a king, you shall always is at your head, sharing in your perils and dangers. Should it so happen that we cease to exist before consolidating your rights, call to mind our actions, and should our tyrants so tar succeed as to endanger your liberty and independence, disinter me bones, they will still lead you to victory, and enable you to triumph over our implacable and eternal enemies. Note 14. Page 61. The following picturesque and beautiful view QF nature inth. Atlantic is taken from the 11. Chapter of Shatia underscore Bria underscore dot D's demonstration of the existence of God. One evening, it was a profound calm, we were in the delicious seas which bathe the shores of Virginia, every sail was furled, it was engaged upon the deck, when he heard the bell that. 110. Notes and illustrations. Summoned the crew top prayers, he hastened to mingle my sup. Plications with those of the companions of my voyage. The officery, with the passengers, were on thick order. The chaplain, with a book in his hand, stood at a little distance before them, the seamen were scattered at random over the poop, we were all standing, our faces towards the prow of the ship, which was turned to the west. The globe of the sun, whose lustre even then our eyes could scarcely endure, ready to plunge beneath the waves, was discovered through the rigging in the midst of boundless space. From the motion of TB's turn, it appeared as if the radiant orb every moment changed its horizon. A two clouds wandered confusedly in the east, where Eth moon was slowly rising, the re T of the sky was serene, and towards the north a water spout, forming a glorious triangle with the luminaries of day. And off night glistening with all the colors of the prism, rose out of the sea, like a column of crystal supporting the vault of heaven. He who had not recognized in this spectacle the beauty of deity had been greatly to be pitied. Religious tears involuntarily flowed from my eyes. Note 15. Page 54. This also may account for the horrid ravages made by the late fire at Port Royal, where burning shingles, we are told, were wafted the houses, which being remarkably dry, quickly burst out in a blaze. Note 16. Page 79. This differs in a monthly. Materially from the publication, under. Uthpsuridad Kofu and T. Clarchu Elielti Exividen. Turtle, in which it is asserted, that they are nailed down on their backs, by the fins, to the ship's decks, in which they are imported, for it is a truth, setting humanity altogether aside, that such a method would prove fatal to the animals, which on the contrary require the gentlest treatment to keep them alive. During the J.R. passage to Britain, and I assure you, were they. Notes and illustrations. 111. To try tie experiment of bringing home turtles nailed to the deck. Then might fat alderman with grief complain, and sigh for turtle soup but sighing, sigh in vain. Note 17. Page 87. The greatest part of the cod taken on the banks of Newfoundland, are said to Beatty's post of in the Catholic countries of Europe during Lent. Note 18. Page 88. Many of the illiterate who have viewed this deception of vision, solemnly assert at the time, their firm belief that it is an omen portending some vast evil bursting over the country. So much is superstitious ignorance blinded to the real causes of natural phenomena. Note 19. Age 89. The plundering of shipwrecked sailors, or stealing from ship. Rex, is a practice that cannot be sufficiently reprobated. Is. It not enough that the poor mariner should be thrown wretched and friendless in an own coast? Is it not sufficient that the goods of the merchant be scattered in the beach by Thepidilus storm? But the former must even be stripped off his last resource in adversity, nay, sometimes murdered. And the loss of the latter be still further augmented be the cruel hands of the thief and pilferer. How widely different from the actions of the savage sheer. Aludeto, are the characters of the Grecians, portrayed be falconer, in the following beautiful lines. Though lost to science, and the noble roots, 
yet nature's lore informed their feeling hearts, straight down the veil with hastening steps they hide, th unhappy sufferers to assist and guide. Three still alive, benumbed and faint they find, in mournful silence on a rock reclined, the generous natives, MOV'd with social pain carrot the feeble strangers in their arms sustain, with pitying sighs their hapless lot deplore. And lead them trem from the fetal shore. 112. Illustrations. Of the figures on some of the plates. Figure 74. Plate VII. 1 Moro Fort. 2 Havana. 3 St. Mary's Fort. 4 Table Mountain. Figure 93. PLLEIX. 1 Start Point. 2 Torbay. 3 Berry Head. Figure PS Flat 9. I the Needles Rocks. 2 The Needles Lighthouse. 3 St. Catherine S. Tower. Figure 97. Plate 9, 1. St. Alban S. Head. 2 Needles Rocks. 3 Needles Lighthouse. 4 St. Catherine S. Tower. 5 St. Helen S. Rhodes. Figure 117. Plate X, 1. Glass Houses. 2 Shields Lighthouses. 3 Tynemouth Castle. 4 Tynemouth Lighthouse. Figure 130. Plate X I inch Keith Island and Lighthouse, 2. Arthur's Seat. 3 Edinburgh Castle and City. 4 The Village of New Haven. Index. Explanatory Kilo The Hieroglyphic Japernal. Introduction. Ship sails from Leith. Sails from the roads. Encounter with a lugger. Anchor in Yarmouth Roads. Sail from Yarmouth Roads. Join convoy. Part from convoy. Reach Porto Santo. Young Wasp. American Privateer. Off Madeira. Deserter Islands. Anchor in Funchal Bay. Description of Funchal. Singular Asylum. Visit Funchal. A funeral. Dress of the natives. No wheel carriages in the island. Coins and sea. Return to the ship. A dinner in Lent on board a Spanish 81. A Roman Catholic procession. Continued. Continued. Visit the church on Themount. Delightful prospect. Salubrity of the atmosphere. Foot. Ficure. T.KGT. 5. 7. 1. 9. 2 9. 3 9. I 10. 5 10. Point 6 10. 7 10. 8 11. 9 11. 10 11. 11 13. 12 13. 14. 14. 1 3. 15 IS. 10 17. 17. 14 17. 35 18, 1 C 18. 19. 20. 17 20. 21. S 2. 114. Index. Intensity of the cold in the higher regions. Madeira has its sickly seasons situation, extent, and population. Return on board ship. Sail in company with a sloop of war and sea. A botany bay ship, with 200 female convicts. The Solitary Exile Sloop of War Parts Company. Palma. Grand Canary Approach Tenerife Description of the Peak. Visited by a company off Merchants Canary Islands. Part from the Botany Bay Ship. See a strange sail cross the tropic off Cancer Shaving Ceremony Described. Continued. 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 Good effects of such amusements Tropical regions. Tropical birds see a strange sail. Accident in firing off a blunderbuss. Custom at sea on perceiving a strange sail. Dolphins. Portuguese man of war. Exercise the muskets. Beautiful seaweed. Trade wind suddenly why carrot ers round dash a storm. Mother carries chickens. Antigua. Its appearance at sea. The island described. Decida. R-I-C-U-R-E. I-1-C-F. 23. 22. 23. 1823. 1923. 23. 2T. 22 asterisk 21. 24. 22 25. 2I. 2 2C. 2G. 23 27. 24 27. 25 27. 26 27. 2s. 29. 30. So. 27 31. 28 31. 29 31. 30 31. 32. 31 33 33. 33 34. 33 34. 
34 34 35 34 36 35 2 35 37 36 Index Pass Guadalupe, Montserrat Redondi, NC Guadalupe, Montserrat Redondi Anecdote of a Dutchman A Strange Sale Nevis Described The Montpur of the West Indies St. Christopher's or St. Kitts Abubi St. Eustatia Pass Saba, Santa Cruz and Bike Saba Described Santa Cruz Bike, or Borican Puerto Rico Described Two Strange Sales Mona St. Domingo See a Strange Sale St. Domingo Described Unhealthy Climate Discovery and Original Inhabitants Cruelty of Spaniards Changes in ITS government. L.E. Clerk's expedition. Present emperor. Now an independent kingdom. Situation of Thies land. A.L.T.E. Vala. Bayada. Pass Cape de Baron. Jamaica. Drogers. Arrive at Morant Bay. Come to Ain and Shaw. Passage described. 3. 115. Figure. Page. 36. 38 36. Dash 39 37. 40 37 38. 41 38. 42 38. 39, 43 S9. 44 40. 45 40. 40. Dash. 46 40. Point 47 41. 48 41. 49 42. 50 42. SI 42. S2 43. 53 43 43. 44 4 to 1. 44 45 46 46. 47. 47. 5 I 47. S 5 I 7. Asterisk T. 6 48. 57 48. Phi 8 48. I 9 49 1. Asterisk. 116. Index. A day C 9 the tropical regions. A night scene in ditto. Phi Cure. Page. 49. 50. Amusements of the passengers, and employment off. The seamen. 51. Watches, and method off regulating them. 52. Morant Bay described. 53. Sail tour Falmouth. 60. 53. Arrive in Falmouth Harbor. Falmouth described. 61. T. 53. 51. Dreadful conflagration at. 54. Presence of mind of a lady. 54. Falmouth Bay. News off peace with France, N.C. 55 62 56. Sail from Falmouth Harbor. 63 56. Anchor in Montego Bay. 64 56. Montego Bay described. Sail S.O.R. Negril Point. 57 65 57. Join convoy. 66 58. Description off Jamaica. 58. Discovery of, N.C. 58. Blue Mountains. And Q. Subdivisions of Thies Land. 53. JTS Produce. 60. Sugar Making Described. 60. Continued. 61. Continued. 6i. Continued. 63. Process of Rum Distillation. C4. Ingredients Houston. Animals in Jamaica. TB lizard species. Aerial and insectal tribes. The hummingbird. The scorpion. Cure for the bite of, on board of ship. The centipede. The dragonfly. 65 65. G carrot. CG 67 122 68 63 125 fig 123 70. Index. 117. The firefly. The mosquito. Figure. Page. 70. 71. The ant. The jigger. 124 72 72. Motives of contentment with our own climate. Producio of the Ivers in Jamaica. Mode of procuring the conch shell. Inhabitants of Jamaica. How accounts are Table off coins. The island more healthy than formerly. Climate.